Welcome back to Prime Time, y'all, and I'm back at it again with another toxic topic. But before you hop into this toxic topic, go ahead and get your meal, your drink, your blunt, or your snack, and tell your man or sneaky link that you will call them back because Prime just uploaded a new video. So without further ado, as you can see by the title and the motherfucking thumbnail, the toxic topic that we have for today is preferences. Now, I'm kind of wanting to talk about this for a little minute now, but I wanted to really, like, wait until I, like, really knew all that I wanted to say before I start, because I feel like with this one, it's so much you can say, and it, I can see both sides. Now, with preferences, you like what you like at the end of the day. It's no change in that, of course. Um, however, I think it's definitely a way you can go about it, and uh, it's d definitely a way that you can, like, I feel like usually, like, these preferences, they be mean as fuck. Like, let's be real, like, um, for example, all my people who be on Grinder. if you haven't been on Grinder, um, shit. I don't know, bitch, but we're going to be talking about a little bit of grinder today. You go on grinder, it's so many categories. It's like, what the fuck? Like, it's, it's chaotic a little bit, and it can be, it can make you look in a mirror a little different. Because, like, when you look at all these profiles, you got several different categories and several different preferences that these men be having, like, for example, you might come across a profile, a motherfucker might be like, hey, you know, I don't got no racial hangups, however, white men to the front. That shit, I don't know about y'all, but if I see some shit like that on somebody's profile, yo, I'm not, I'm not messaging, I'm not DMing, because I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know about y'all, but I can find that a little, like, racist. Also, let's talk about colorism, because... Motherfuckers do the same thing, be like, oh, light skins to the front, dark skins only, and it's like, oh my god. Especially being, um, as a brown skin, I feel like brown skins, we don't have a lot of rep representation. I feel like a lot of motherfuckers usually be like, look, either I want light skin or dark skin. They not really fucking with the brown. And I just be like, damn. So, sometimes I'll be knowing where to fit in. Or some profiles m might be like, no fats, no fems. And I'm like, damn. Okay, you know, I ain't, you know, big. You know, I'm skinny. However, I am on, like, a little more on the feminine spectrum. However, I really don't classify myself as feminine. Because I feel like I definitely have my days. But I'm like, I'm very given much masculine energy. I feel like I'm very much of a flip-flop. But all my pronouns are he, him, and his. So uh, none of that. But, like, however, like, I don't identify as femme. However, I don't identify as mask. I feel like I'm, like, that good in-between, really. Because each day is different for me. Whatever I'm feeling, that's what I'm feeling rock. And that's how it is. And also, let's talk about ageism real quick. Ageism. I recently learned of that word about, like, a few months ago. I had somebody in my comment section bring it up. Um... We had a very nice conversation in the comment section. I forgot what video it was, but if I um figure it out, I'm gonna put it like in the side of the screen or whatever. But like it was really a nice conversation. However, I agree and disagree with him at the same time. Now, if anyone who doesn't know what ageism is, is when you have like a prejudice towards like older people or younger people. But it's usually towards, like, older, immature people. And, uh, honestly, with ageism, I can see how that is a problem. However, I feel like if you pushing 50, I don't see why you are pursuing or looking for someone... 18 through 29. Like, I shouldn't see that on your profile, you're 50 years old. And 
in your bio, you talking about some, don't DM me if you're outside of that age range of 18 and 29. It's like, you want people damn near 20 and 30 years younger than you. I think it's weird. I, I, I personally think it's weird as fuck. Like, I'm sorry. I think it's very weird. It's like, I don't think that's ageism. I think that's predatory. If you want to be honest, that's some predatory ass shit. And then, you know, I had a conversation with an older guy before because like he, I'm going to say he was around, he was like in his early fifties and you know, don't get me wrong. Like I don't slap with, I don't been with a few older men's and usually for the coin, how <laughs> usually for the coin. But, um, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're not offering no coin, like, what the fuck? But, um, it's like, come on now. Why the fuck? But, yeah, I had this conversation with this older guy. I was like, why do you only look for this age range of guys? And you pretty much cutting out damn near all your peers. Like, what's what's the problem? Like, and you know what he told me, um, he gonna tell me some. You know, I like my man with a low body count. And I was like, a low body count? Oh, that's going to be another good toxic topic. But I'm like, a low body count? He like, yeah, you know, I like it with a low body count. I'm like, that's not always the case. Because I'm like, motherfuckers, shit. They could have been fucking since they was like 13. Like... How you know just because they this age, they body count gonna be low? I know a few motherfuckers who body count is well over at least 50. And bitch is only 17. I be like, damn. Not judging, because you know, my we not gonna talk about me. <laughs> but, you know, I done been around the block a few times. And I'm like, low body count, that just can't be it. Like, that, I think that's weird. And he was like, okay, you right. He was like, um, I kind of like um, inexperience because, like, I love being able to teach someone. And I was just like, I don't think that's weird, too. Like, why do you want to have sex or sleep with someone who is inexperienced or who lacks knowledge of what you desire? I, I, I That don't make sense to me. That's, that's a little weird. Because it's like, and plus it's like, you're this grown, mature man, like, you're 50, like, you're in your 50s, and it's like, what the fuck, like, my mom isn't even in her 40s yet, like, you could be my parent, you could be my grandpa, like, my grandparents are in their 50s, like, it's like, come on now, and like, why are you this age, yet, you want a 20-year-old? I can't even legally get liquor. I can't even legally get my own hotel room. I can't even rent a fucking car. And let's be honest, like, a 20-year-old and 50-year-old, what the fuck do they got in common? Like, I don't understand. Especially if you look your motherfucking age. Well, I'm not trying to be aged, is this? Ageist? Is that the right... I'm not trying to be ages, but like, you got sometimes got to step back and look like, look at you, then look at them. It's like, do that look like that match? That don't look like that match. It's no, like, come on now. It's like, you're this older man. And like, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of fine ass old mature men. Like, it's some fine ass men. Like, I don't. Real fine, like, not saying age is important because, like, if you don't look your age, you don't look your age, period. Like, I don't even look my age. A lot of people still didn't think that I don't even look 20. Which I don't even think I look 20, to be honest, the whole time. I look like I need to be in high school somewhere writing on a little test or something. However, it's like, if you're not providing no coins, you shouldn't be offended when somebody be like, no, like, you're old as fuck. Like, sorry, but, like... You could be my parent. Damn near my grandparent. Like, it just don't make sense to me, especially when it comes to dating. Because right now, we're only talking about 
you know, fucking. But, like, if it really comes to that, it's like, really? Come on now. That's some weird ass shit. But, that's really all I have to say, honestly. I just feel like this whole preference shit is like, it's like, come on now. Give motherfuckers a chance. Oh, oh, wait. Actually, I feel like motherfuckers use preferences to also be like, um, real, you know what? We not even gonna talk about that. We not even gonna talk about that. That <sighs> Y'all, let me know how y'all feel in the comments about preferences. Like, I really wanna know y'all opinion because this how I feel. I feel like preferences are like, I think they low-key kind of rude. Like, no shade. Like, coming from somebody who I fuck with anybody. Like, if you fine, you fine. Period. Okay? And I feel like preferences is like, sometimes people can't control shit. Like, all motherfuckers want somebody who's six feet. Bitch, I can't control my height or somebody who want, want to be skinny. Somebody who wants someone to be skinny. They can't control... Damn, I mean, you can. But not everybody can control they how they weigh. Or they skin color. Like, they hair texture. It's like, don't, we can't. Bitch. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments, because I, look, we can debate in the comments, because I'm, I'm ready. Because I want to see y'all opinions and y'all thoughts. I'm very open-minded as fuck. So whatever you say, I'm not disagreeing. I, I would love seeing plenty of people's viewpoints on this shit. So, let me know how y'all feel. But, however, if you made it through this whole motherfucking video, I love you, bitch. And go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and please hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload. Like, I'm literally just uploading content. Like, good content for y'all. Like, y'all, you don't want to miss it. It's really good. But, without further ado... I'm going to catch y'all next time on another Prime Time.